Since we're going to move on, we got Mark Simone, WR Radio Show host, and Joe Concha, media and politics columnist at the Hill, Fox News contributor, author of Come On Man. Uh, before I do anything, uh, Elon Musk tweeting. Let me see what that whole tweet is on the prompter. He said, uh, Elon's tweeting, besides misleading the public, they withheld evidence for partisan political reasons to send people to prison for far more serious crimes than they committed. That is deeply wrong legally and morally. And do we have one, uh, which sound do we want to run on this one? I want to let the boys, first of all, here's uh, Tucker Carlson last night. This is Tucker giving his opinion. It's kind of a wrap-up view. Take a listen, please. Virtually no one in Washington, Republican or Democrat, certainly not in the news media, wanted to see this tape released tonight. That's why it's remained hidden for more than two years. It doesn't answer every question from January 6th. Far from it. But it does prove beyond doubt that Democrats in Congress, assisted by Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney, lied about what happened that day. They are liars. All right. Joe Concha, Democrats lied that day. Adam Kinzinger, who's a Republican, a Republican here, right. in, in name, uh, he said this morning on another network that this was the most transparent committee in history, the January 6th committee. It's the same committee that didn't allow cross-examination of witnesses right. and obviously right. didn't release all the video that pertained to what happened that day. And what, what's that old Gordon Gecko line, Michael Douglas? The most valuable commodity I know is information. Yeah. And here we have reporters and journalists should be embracing the fact that more information, more footage is out there. The more we see, the easier it is for us to get to the truth. You brought up the Navy veteran before, Jason Chainsley, the, the QAnon shaman, right? You see that video that Tucker showed last night. He's being escorted around the building. You have police officers trying to open locked doors to, yeah. to let him in. Yeah. Is he armed is a question? No. Is he violent? No. How many years in prison did he get? Nearly four years. So I would think this video being released may lead to Chainsley being released mm. uh, because now we see that the crime certainly does not fit the time, Larry. Mark, is this also a political hit job, and I'm going to say it, on Donald Trump and on Republican Party, almost from day one. They took a bad story. I'm not going to defend this, the whole situation, and then ran it, doctored the tapes, and have used it ever since about MAGA Republicans and Trump. It's a political hit job. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, listen, it's a horrible, ugly trespassing incident. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. The reason they keep saying insurrection is they think that would disqualify him from ever serving in office yep. again. Merrick Garland has officially declared no insurrection. There's 2,400 charges filed. You can read them online. Trespassing, disorderly conduct. No one is charged with insurrection. This one guy already got uh, released. He got his charges dropped with some similar footage showing the cops let him in. The judge had to let him go. You'll see a bunch of those things happen now. And they lied about several of the congressmen, lied about one senator, lied about one House member. I mean, this... So... The politics, this is very clear from the very beginning. Look, it was a bad day. I get that. It was a bad day. But no, if no one's been charged, I mean, here, I, let me, last one. Will they charge Donald Trump with inciting violence or rebellion? Yeah. That's, that has yet to be determined. What do you think about that? Yeah, they'll try. Even with these uh, new tapes. They'll try something. Hey, May 29th, 2020. Democrats tried to take the White House, sending 63 Secret Service men to the hospital. Mm. The president had to be moved to the nuclear bunker. No one was charged with anything there. This is a hit job. Will they charge Trump with inciting uh, a riot or violence of some kind, even though there's um, hardly any violence at all in these tapes? Probably, and it won't Probably. matter. It's not going to discourage Donald Trump from running. But, but I'm with you, Larry, and I want to make sure that I'm very clear on this as well. 140 police officers were assaulted that day. Mm. Backing the blue is not a part-time job. So while many people there were peaceful, there were bad actors, obviously, from other videos that we saw. Both things can be correct. Well, that's right. That's a key point. Again, this is not a day to celebrate. This was a very bad day. And people got into the Capitol in some very bad ways. Okay, they didn't. Not all just. They weren't as great. Broken windows and this and that. Yeah. But the extremist view coming from the Democrats. I don't know. I, I just. We will see what happens. And remember, all that video that we saw during the January 6th committee hearings, it came from, it was edited by a former president of ABC News. I know. Why make it made for television? Just let it all out there and let us decide. We report, you decide. I believe that yeah, was a yeah. mantra. Or and, saying. Remember, if I did one, you would have seen 25 January 6th. Mm. It would have been going on every night. Mark Simone, Joe Concha, thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you. It.